what we need to do now is get on with doing the rest of the metal areas, the armour and such like. And we'll do use the usual thing for those parts, war block bronze. So we'll get some of that on our palette. I like this. Bit of the war plot brands on that. Now all the metal areas are going to be painted this colour. Let's get into it, shall we? So we have the leg armor. Guard, whatever you want to call it. Try to get all of it, get as close to the skin as possible. Then we have this little jewel thing here. Shall we say armor? Um, <laughs> there we go. Try and be as careful as we can. We don't want to be um, going over the flesh tones more and more and more. So make sure we get the areas that we want to paint. quite a lot of the metal in this miniature, strange as it may seem. There we are, because you don't just have that, and then we also have the spearhead. of the shield with metal as well. Now, I've seen some pictures 
that people have painted over these and you know some people have done a really brilliant paint job on these but I'm going to do mine my own way as I usually do um, as I was saying at the beginning of the video I want my, I want my minis to be my minis people can identify them as mine rather than them being exactly the same as everybody else's um, always a pain in the neck trying to paint around something that you've already painted but it has to be done it's one of those things of a painter you have to learn to either you have to learn to deal with making corrections and I'm just going to paint the back of this shield as well There we are. These um, little strengthening things on the spear I'm going to leave as yet um, because I don't want them doing now because I want to paint the main shaft of the spear. I don't want to do that. Oh, so I like not want to do that. I, will, um, I can always ha um, add the corner that we're going to be painting the um, the metallic areas there. Um, when it's done, I can use the actual uh, base coat of the spear handle as the base coat for that because it's only a small part. point of doing this knee pad or shin pad um, first off with a, a finely sh uh, a sharpened a nicely pointed brush rather so I don't end up getting this paint on the old one grey I can imagine it being a bit of a pain in the neck trying to paint over it with the old one grey. Right. So I'm just going to speed everything up now. To the end of 
this um, stage and paint all the metallics. I just have the, the shield to go. Um, now I just want to point out that I did miss out the centre boss on the, on the first shield that I did of recent I when I realised that I went back and did it so um, I think you saw that part in the uh, fast forward a bit when I was doing the second mini um, following this now we're going to be just touching up areas um, that need a little bit of adjustment like skin tone and whatnot. Uh, so I'm going to do that and then uh, we can look then at the final um, bits of the mini that need doing which is the shield face and the spear shaft and then we can look at uh, washing the mini. Um, now the shield and the spear I'm going to do in different colours so but I am numbering them together because they are basically the final bits. Um, oh there's also the the bow and the um, scabbard not scabbard um, quiver with all the arrows as well so um, let's see what we can do with these. So that is the last bit of the um, metal, I think. Just going just checking over to make sure I've not missed anywhere um, nope so there we are so now what we need to do is just touch up some of the flesh areas I don't think I've got any more paint on the um, whatchamacallit the pale grey areas um, but I'll just have to have a look yeah, there is a little bit, but not all that much. Um, thankfully, there's, there's not much of this flesh colour left. But thankfully, I don't think we'll need a great deal of it anyway. So, I've missed a little bit of... the um, metallic on that first mini I'll have to go back and sort that out um, there's not much of this one that needs doing for it. You may need to mix some more of this skin colour. Um, and again, depending on I need, I may not do, but I'll see. 
I keep saying that we are going to have to mix some paint to highlight the skin tone so That's right, as far as I can see. There we go. As I said, we need to go back to the first model we did just to touch up a little of the metallic area that I missed. And that's just this bit here and now once we've done that we can make a start on the weaponry on the face of the shield okay so pop that there so i am thinking green going on here now um green so for the face of the shield what I'm looking at is a mix of Stormhost silver and Lauren, Lauren green okay yes this is something I'm going to do so I just need to give this silver paint a mix well, I'm going to mix the shake. We'll do that. And then the Lauren Green. We can mix straight into it. green then we do the silver there we go and let's just do this paint and we just do the face a very subtle colour as you can see don't want a very strong in your face green and I don't want incredibly shiny metallic colour have to come back and give this another coat if we do on the better better put in multiple layers of thin coats rather than one thick layer 
so that's one done and I've missed quite a bit of paint on the, for this just in case we do have to do that which we probably do I want to build it up build up the strength of the colour this base colour on for the shield I will be coming back and adding um, some dry brush highlights to the metal areas which will go on this so again another reason why I'm going to have to give it a second coat but I know full well that it's not going to be a very strong colour to start off with in fact it's not going to be a very strong colour at all but um, well, knowing I'm going to do this in uh, several coats it's definitely going to need um, definitely going to need that I decided that I might as well I've missed the centre bus on this how clever of me I'm going to have to come back and do that Oops. But anyway, I will come back and do the centre bus for that last one uh, when the main part of the shield has dried. But um, for the silver areas, I'm going to go back to the um, Stormhost silver that I've just used to mix with the green. And <coughs> dry brush, get a little bit on, wipe it off, and then on the spear tip and along the top edge. of the shield a little bit there as well our spear tip over and get some more paint on the brush and just touch onto that part and uh, tip front of shield back of shield rag armor oh and all the pads I've forgotten let's go back 
I can do these areas. to do the boss centre boss for that bit of the shield before I can dry brush it properly so I will do that now need to give that a couple of seconds to dry um, and do the back of the shield first of all oh, I'm going to bloody wash the brush haven't I ah dear lord make sure it's dry this video once more um, a little bit later and finish off because it is going to be a long video this one um, but I'm going to go back now into the shield colour and add more into the middle of the shield face because I don't want it to be um, look as though it's dry brushed Very delicate shade of green. That's all I need for this. That's all I want for this, not need. Um, I see a lot of people doing very dark colours fading down into black um, for shields. And that's nice, but I like different. I've done that before on my undead army for Kings of War I like the effect it gives but sometimes like a clean looking shield I think these are really nice shields that I can use this effect with and mixing the mixing the colour with a, a metallic like the silver it was a nice effect. And finally, and if I've done this, I'm going to call and enter this past the video and uh, join me in the next one where we will. Uh, continue painting. Okay. Well, 
I hope you've enjoyed this so far. Um, I'm not sure how long this one's going to be. Let's have a look at the first one. So that's what we've got so far. Okay. So I hope this is giving you some ideas. But uh, that's it for this video, as I say. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.